Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In the name of peace, I greet you Muslims and non-Muslims alike So, I am MENJ And this is my channel This will be the first video that I've recorded Especially for a channel that is registered under my name You can call me MENJ by the way I don't really like people to call me by my real name Although you may have, may have seen it somewhere online Okay People usually just address me as M E N J, and I would like that, you know, to be that way. So, uh, to begin, what will this channel be about? Now, that's a very good question, because you know, over the years, originally I wanted this specific ch uh, channel specifically for comparative religion, because I was active in the comparative religion scene, uh, circa 1999 to about 2015 I mean my active my very very active years so I mean I haven't really left the scene per se but uh, over, uh, since I got married in 2010 I've kind of slowed down I've uh, slowly became less active in forums and chat uh, chat you know chats religious chats forums uh, dedicated to religion or comparative religion or even Islam for that matter so I've already toned down a lot, you know, over the years. Uh, for those who are familiar with me, they may know my me by my writings. You know, in the early years when I first started, I was very aggressive and very fiery in my tone and approach. But now that I've already started to hit four series, okay, I turned forty this today, by the way. Um, I think I've toned down a lot significantly. But I haven't lost that, you know, that fire in me, the gira, the 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 feeling of wanting to defend Islam from all those who try to oppose it, from all those people who try, you know, to to make negative remarks and you know attack Islam at every juncture and at every opportunity possible. So, um, I'm thinking of turning this channel into what I originally wanted, which is comparative religion. But as I said earlier on just now, over the years I've garnered a lot of interest. So I'm not really sure whether I should turn it into solely for religion per se. Because I've a multitude of interest now. I've gone into SEO, I've gone into desktop building, I've gone into reading, you know, uh, fiction and non-fiction alike. So, I'm not really sure at this juncture. But for now, I think let's just stick to religion, comparative religion per se. Uh, specifically, Christianity and Judaism. Because that's my specialty. Okay. Uh, to, to, you know, to, to talk briefly about my experiences with comparative religion, I've studied comparative religion, I've read the Bible, I've studied the contents of the Tanakh. Okay. Uh, starting from 1999, year 2000, until you know, took me about three, four years to actually finally get the gist of the whole thing, the whole argument, you know, comparing Islam with Judaism, Judeo-Christianity, you know, uh, studying uh, biblical textual criticism, uh, studying early Christianity. Early Christianity is especially my favorite. Okay, so uh, I realized that. Really, um, there's no real truth in the Bible, to be honest. There's absolutely no real truth in the Bible. The Bible has been corrupted with a lot of, with a lot of nonsense. Okay, for example, just look at Ezekiel twenty-three. That's the favorite, my favorite uh, passage when I have tried when a Christian tries to tell me that the Bible is the word of God, the Bible, uh, you know, is uh, is the truth. You know. Uh, the way of life for you know for for those who wish to follow God, then I tell them just open Ezekiel twenty three and you let me know whether that is really from God. Until today, no Christian has ever uh, came back to me on that. Okay, so I don't want to talk about Ezekiel twenty three now. So maybe I will leave that for another video. So that's just one example why I don't believe that the Bible is from God. Okay. Um, uh, okay, let's go to Islam. Okay, so I believe as a Muslim that Islam is truly from God. I believe there is one God 
and I believe that Muhammad is his prophet. Why do I believe that? Well, I'll just leave that for another video. But in brief, I can tell you the reason why I believe that Islam is true is because of Tawheed. Okay? Tawheed means, well, some people translate it as monotheism. Some people translate it as absolute monotheism. Okay? Both uh, translations are correct. But for me, the word Tawheed encompasses a philosophy which is much more deeper than that. Because when you say one God, what do you mean by one God? Do you mean that God is one without uh, partners? Do you mean that God has, you know, has divisions within, within its essence but is still considered one? Or do you mean that you know, God is actually uh, incarnated into many, many forms and yet is still one? So the definition of what is one God uh, it varies among many people, many communities, many nations in the past and present. So for me, the most basic um, truth that is in Islam is Tawheed and no other. Uh, I will talk about Tawheed maybe in a different video because this video is intended to be an introduction and to my channel and also to introduce myself to uh, potential viewers out there for those who do not know who I am. So, um, alright, I think I do not want to talk anymore already because it's already almost like, because I time myself to be, to make this video less than seven minutes. So, it's my time is almost up now. So, uh, I hope that you will join my channel and hopefully I will be able to talk about many, many topics. Uh, over over the days or over the weeks I'm not really sure yet how this would go So I'll see you next time So I'll leave you with Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And thank you for listening to me